So now in this video, we're going to look at the light dependent resistor. And there is the schematic symbol there. And here is the physical component. So it has the property of when there's a bright light on it, its resistance goes down. And when it's darker, its resistance goes up. And it does those extremes uh, pretty extremely. And uh, there is the uh, common physical appearance. It gets to probably really close to zero ohms. I haven't tested it in the sunlight or anything, but it gets down really close to zero ohms, uh, even with the flashlight, and gets up to hundreds of millions of ohms if it is dark enough. This is an LCR meter. I'm just gonna put the light dependent resistor in there. It's not polarized, we don't have to worry about plus and minus. That's for capacitors. Before you measure a capacitor with this, make sure you discharge the capacitor. But in any case, you turn the power on and it automatically figures out basically the uh, main electrical property, whether it is resistive, inductive, or capacitive. And there you can see we got uh, 2.7 kilo ohms of resistance right there. That's with this particular light level. I'll dim the uh, lights a little bit. And you can see it went up. Make it a little brighter and it went down a little bit. I'll grab the uh, flashlight here and uh, shine it on there. And uh, now we got about 180, get it right up to it. And uh, about 160 right there too. And uh, the flashlight is not at its brightest setting, I don't think. There you go. So in any case, you can see it goes down. I have this uh, cover for the alligator clip that I have on the uh, screwdriver there and I'll cover it up and you're gonna see we'll get to uh, that's uh, 30 million ohms right now with the light as bright it is as it is so this is starting to think it's a capacitor and we went out of limits so uh, uh, out of limits is 200 million ohms we got more than 200 million ohms on there so now let's say for whatever reason we're worried about the light dependent resistor getting below one kilo ohm of resistance no matter how bright it is and uh, it's really simple we can put a resistor in series with it and that will add up their resistances we will not get below 1000 ohms of resistance it'll always be above that either a very tiny bit or a massive amount we can also avoid going above 100 kilo ohms of resistance so the exact uh, resistance value will change it'll always be lower than it would be with the light dependent resistor by itself but it will top off at 100k and uh, that'll be it the uh, no matter how much the resistance goes up with the light dependent resistor it can never exceed 100 kilo ohms of equivalent resistance with the two of them because we always have this path right there so now we can use this multimeter and it just has one setting for resistance, it does the rest, red probe goes there unless we're going to measure uh, more than an amp of current right there. So we will get the uh, setting there. The other end of the, uh, the uh, cables there come to these probes. I just clipped these uh, jumpers that I crimped onto there. And so polarity does not matter. We're not going to run current through here. Or the meter is going to run current through there, but since it's a resistive element, it does not matter which direction right there. And uh, now we will be able to see in uh, real time the uh, number changing right there. So when I cover it, we got about uh, 31 kilo ohms, and when I have this light, about uh, 2.4 kilo ohms, so thousands of ohms. And if I get the bright light on there, there you can see we're getting back to about that 160 ohms. So now we will put the light dependent resistor in series with a one kilo ohm resistor. So there's an orange stripe here. I know color's not showing up too well on, uh, on camera. So we will plug that there and uh, there you go. That will be in series. I'm looking through the camera. So my aim's off a bit, but there you go. They are in series. Now I come up there. Again, order does not matter. These are not polarized. So now instead of about 2.7, we're about a kilo ohm higher. So the uh, main thing is though, I'll try to get a bright light on there. And there you can see now instead of about 160, we got about a thousand 
100 and about 60 ohms. So that was in kilo ohms. That's why it was one point. And we can still get to, uh, let's see how high this goes. This goes up to uh, about 60, looked like about 60 million ohms before it cut out approximately this particular multimeter. So now I did film uh, wiring this up, but it got interrupted at the end. So in any case, instead of series now, we have it parallel with a 100,000 ohm resistor. We could still use the one kilo ohm resistor. It's over there. But there you can see the jumpers clipped to the uh, probes are on uh, both ends of them and they are in parallel. They're connected together end to end just like this and we get the multimeter and so it may be a spec lower because they are in parallel and so we can still get it to about 160 ohms approximately and so this is not as bright as we can get on it. We can get it lower. I believe I got about 30 ohms minimum when I use like a magnifier or something. But in any case, there you go. We're going to cover the light dependent resistor and there you can see it's 100,000 ohms of resistance because that's what we used was a 100 kilo ohm, 100,000 ohm resistor right there. That has so much resistance it's almost like it's air or something. There's just one path for the uh, most part. And now finally I took the two in parallel and put the one kilo ohm resistor in series. You can see I moved the jumper down there and put the one kilo ohm resistor in series. And based on this light level, we got uh, about 3.4. So I don't know why it was saying one. It, it must have been accidentally measuring something else. But in any case, you can see that uh, we get a bright enough light. We get down to about 1,000. Uh, 160 ohms of resistance approximately and you can zoom back and we get it dark enough it'll be probably a hundred thousand hundred and one thousand approximately so there you can see it, it's kind of close so it's not going to be as accurate because we're in the kilo ohm range uh, but uh, in any case there you can see we were able to set a couple limits depending on whatever if we need a maximum or a minimum uh, resistance we we can do that so ultimately it's going to change the total resistance of what the uh, light dependent resistor by itself is producing but still it's variable based on light so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and uh, check out one of these other videos subscribe I will see you in the next video